Alright, so I'm here picking up my supplies for my well to fill in the well and finish it off and I found all of Lowe's um, fruit trees are 75% off. So I wasn't necessarily planning on these varieties but they're from 8 to $12 a piece. A piece! So yeah, I'm really excited. I bought a cart full. We'll get the orchard started and add to it as we go. <laughs> Yay! Well, I'm on my way back home. I just picked up a bunch of bentonite clay, gravel. I have a 10 inch, or not a 10 inch pipe, but an 8 inch pipe. Um, well casing. Got a cap. I got all those cheap trees. Hey. I won't be installing the well tonight unless I get a lot more work done than I thought I did. Or I will. But, uh, yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow is well installation day. Alright guys, it's construction day. Um, we're, we've been kind of milling about trying to get everything organized this morning and I think we're organized enough. Um, I'm going to start out by putting some bleach in the hole. Uh, apparently you need to sanitize the hole as you go. They recommend 50 parts per million. Um, so I'll get started with this. Then I'm going to go put some filter fabric on the uh, pipe that I drilled holes in and uh, try to get it all secured. We'll put it in the hole and start pulling, pouring gravel in. And the hope is that as the gravel goes in, it'll stir up the water bleach mix and coat the gravel uh, so the gravel can be sanitized as well. have it all bound up. Filter fabric over all the holes. Doubled up there uh, and then I hope this string will hold it in tight. So let's go drop it in a hole.
pipes in, the gravel goes in next. I'll just haul the load over and we can start dumping. Okay, so same boring camera angle. We put the gravel down and you know we have to seal within three feet of the bottom of the hole with bentonite clay. So we stopped at two foot nine inches about, maybe it was two foot ten, best measurement we could guess, just to make sure we left that sealing space so we can now seal the hole. The idea is with the sealed hole the um, surface contaminants can't leak back down the sides of the hole or the sides of the pipe down to my water. So I guess more bag hauling and and dumping and pouring. That's kind of a boring video to watch, but that's what I've got to do. Here it goes. I've paused the bentonite clay to install my pitless adapter. Um, this is the first time I've installed one of these. It might have been easier to do before I stuck this in the ground, but uh, it's doable. So I'm going to pull out my hole saw, I'm going to install this, and then we can keep cruising. Mm. The idea is to drop this in, poke it through the hole, put the seals on the outside and tighten it up. And then I can take this up off the top, or you know, out the top to connect my pump out of it later.
Well, here I have it all hooked up. It's uh, coming out and into this capped off line. We'll leave this pit open so I can seal around the well casing. I hope that's right. And if it's not perfectly right, I think it's good enough. It'll be above and beyond what they need. Let's dump the rest of the bags in. I have this much space and I have this many bags. And I am not sure if that's going to be enough. I think I'm four bags short. But we'll give it a try. Alright guys. Uh, I'm out of bags of bentonite. Clay. And I've got a lot more to go. <laughs> the guy who bought it, or I bought it from, promised he did the calculations right. But I don't believe him. But that's okay. I'll go back and buy... Uh, eight, ten more bags, whatever it'll take, and get her full. But that'll be a job for another day, because it's the end of the day. Okay, got to end this video before it gets way too long. So, we've been waiting on, like, a couple bags of bentonite clay to finish this off. And there's been rain, and we've been tromping around, so it looks like a muddy mess. Well, that is a muddy mess. This is what it looks like now. You can see there's a little bit of a divot around the base here. Full of clay otherwise. It's really not much to look at right now, I know that. But we've got to get back to Idaho and work on the homestead to get the homestead sold. And we're waiting on a couple bags of bentonite clay. I think two or three more bags would do it, but I'm having a hard time sourcing it. And the the guy that I've been trying to buy it from um, just can't get the delivery in. Every time I call him, it'll be another week. So, got to end this video. Got to end it sometime, and we've got to get on with the next one. So, here you have it. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for staying tuned so long. If you haven't seen my other video about how I dug this well, um, go ahead and click. I'll try to put it right over here. And you can click right there and go back to see it. Um, and then stay tuned because my next video is coming up. And, you know, this adventure has been a good one. And I'm glad that you guys keep watching. And if you're new to my channel, go back and see my other videos. They're pretty good. And, uh, you know, as always, thanks for taking this journey with me on Simple Ground. So this bentonite comes in these little uh, crumbles, what do they call them, pellets? Granular, granular bentonite it says. And it's really cool. Um, this will dissolve and become a solid mass in the water and the moisture, humidity of the soil. But here's the secret. Bentonite clay is used in clay masks and all of those soothing spa day moments all of that mud that you spread all over yourself to make your skin healthy, it's bentonite clay and it's extremely expensive unless you go buy it um, from the well supply or plumbing supply store. And then it's $13 a 50 pound bag. Anyway, thought I'd share that with you. Mm -hmm.